This is Naila. Thank you so much for joining me again today. So what I want to go through today is a little bit more about um, Earth, about the channeling that I've been doing. So firstly, I just want to explain the process that I'm going through right now. So I have got somebody that is um, asking questions while I'm in like a, a trance state. So the information is coming through me. So then I will listen to that information after I've done the channeling and then take time to process that. What is happening is that once I have processed it and gone through it with my guides, there then will be information coming forward that is designed basically to, to share with you, you know, in a way that obviously I've understood it and then hopefully you'll be able to understand it as well. Now, the last um, channeling session, there was a fair bit of information came through. So I think it's going to take quite a while to, to get over, um, to cover all of that, really. What I'm going to focus on today is one particular part of that last session that came back to me with my guide. So it's clearly um, this <laughs> this is ready to share, basically. So we spoke about the the simulation and one of the um answers back was that us you know us, us the humans had um basically started this simulation so i'm going to cover that and and really discuss more about that so i've got a little bit of of that information here which i'll read firstly so the simulation was really put in place by us. It's a system um, that programs like a simulation, basically. And the simulation is just playing out themes for us to explore and experience. So it's really about us making choices, exploring our choices, understanding really what we're all about, and also really exploring limitations of, of living within quite a dense human body. So the limitations on the human body, what what is happening is the simulation is really focused on the mind. So we are basically manifesting things into our reality by our thoughts. And that's why it is so important right now as we are moving up to really focus on on our on our thoughts, you know, be very mindful about what is going on within our mind right now because we are getting to a place where we can manifest things very, very quickly. The thing is, we have been manipulated um, and controlled in a way because we have got this ability to, to manifest. So I'll go through that a little bit more as well. So firstly, I want to say, you know, when we hear about this ascension process and going home and going to new earth, many people are thinking like we've got to travel there, that maybe there's going to be spaceships coming and, and taking us to this place. What was coming very much forward during that ch channeling session from the energy of Earth is that New Earth is here, it's already here waiting for us. And it's, it's basically a case of remembering again, remembering what this planet really is, remembering what this realm is really all about. Now, Earth, Mother Earth, is fully supporting human life and its development and its evolution. And this is such a beautiful place. You know, everything that we need to survive, everything that we need to heal and, and evolve is there for us. Literally anything and everything that we need to fully function is right here. It's been provided for us. So what we need to remember is that this is a process of 
evolution and it's it's like going backwards and forwards because there has been manipulation we went through a sort of um we devolved rather than evolved so now what's happening is we are going through an awakening process where we're becoming a lot more aware of ourselves of others and of the world we live in as well so that's why we've got a lot of healing going on we've got a lot of traumas coming to the surface we've got a lot of traumas obviously personal traumas we've got then societal traumas we've got ancestral traumas we've got a lot coming forward that we've really got to release and let go of and make peace with and maybe you know do a lot of forgiveness around certain things as well what we are then going through the process of is reconnecting back to earth reconnecting back to to where we we live basically because there has been this disconnect there has been this cutting off between us and earth and another thing that came forward was that when we are born straight away we have this connection with the earth like this invisible thread this invisible cord that is connected to us and because there has been this this manipulation going on Every time there is a, like a, a, something getting in between us and Earth, that cord just gets a little bit thinner and a little bit thinner and a little bit thinner. It won't go, it's, it's always there, but because there has been this disconnect to, to Earth, then it's very, very thin. So this is about, you know, really awakening to that and and sort of healing that cord in a way as well and and coming back to to earth you know rather than um living in something that is very artificial very false this is almost like what we said in the video before you know as we're peeling back the layers as we are doing that, there's also a peeling back the layers of Earth as well, because Earth's very much been having a lot of overlays over the top of the Earth as well. So Earth's natural energy is it's very nurturing, it's very supporting, it's really very much so unconditional love there and very much guiding the humans as well. This energy is available to all of us at any time. So we don't have to physically travel to new earth yet we do have to make a journey to reach new earth and that is a journey of personal awareness of taking back our power of basically just remembering and taking responsibility for our own actions for our own emotions and for our own lives so it's very much been been shown by my guides that this is very much a, a setup that could be described as a holographic matrix earth so that's very much what most of us have been functioning in that's very much what most of us see when we look into earth we will actually be looking at a holographic matrix matrix earth so that is why our thoughts are so important that is why it's so important to be very mindful of what is going on of what we are really projecting out there the holographic matrix earth is really projecting out from our minds our own thinking our own thoughts and this has a a pretty huge influence on our world as well because we all individually are sort of um having our own world with within the bigger world really so we, we're all making up our own world individually and then that is having an impact on the world at large as well so that will affect the world we actually see through our own eyes personally so the simulation is really coming from the human minds and our thoughts have been manipulated our thoughts and feelings about ourselves about others and about the world and this is really coming from 
the likes such as the media and it's it's just fear tactics a lot of the time that is is controlling and manipulating and and really sort of leading us down a, a very false narrative in a way so this is really about us being manipulated for for the gain of 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 certain people trying to control us but we can take back our power at any time it's just a case of claiming and owning what is going on within us as soon as we start doing that like i said we've got then the the stripping back of the layers to see what is really underneath all of that so as we are going through the peeling back of the layers of ourselves we then begin to shed light on the falsehood of the earth as well and that's why the awakening process can be you know a very big deal for for most of us really you know it, we're seeing things that we just didn't expect to be seeing there's there's a lot of um shadow to earth there's a lot of things that have been covered up and it's all starting to to come up to the surface now so it can be very very overwhelming like i said the important thing is to really claim and own what you are all about and and really do that work within yourself because that will help you that really will help you to stay on top of everything that is going on so the term going home we're really already home you know we're, we're already here home is already waiting underneath <clears throat> excuse me i'm just gonna get a drink <clears throat> So home is already waiting underneath all the deception and false layers, such as what I call TikTok time. The, the, the time that we're under right now, the TikTok time is very much influencing us and it is affecting our own natural cycles as well in a very big way. And also social pressures as well. Obviously, there's a lot of other things within that as well. So this is really about fully understanding and understanding and overstanding ourselves, our minds, our bodies, our hearts and our home, which, which is Earth. So we are basically, what my guys were, were, were showing me, is we're going back to the original code without any of the deception or manipulation so that all of that is getting stripped back and we're going right back to the raw original code of earth we're breaking out of the perceived norms that don't support our own personal development or health and that will naturally start getting us more connected with the earth so there is a breaking down going on right now. There is a breaking down and a breaking away of the holographic matrix and the programming that is involved with that, which is basically, like we said before, this is the false overlay of what our Earth is, is truly and what it is truly meant to be, how it was originally you know, supposed to function. So Earth's energy is shifting and it's changing and naturally um, as, this, as this happens, you know, we're going through that as well. So we, in a way, are causing the changes that are going on on Earth. It is because we are going through this awakening we are becoming more aware and then it is having a knock-on effect on earth because like we said we've got the stripping back of the layers and the breaking down of this holographic matrix so we need to really as a, a collective as a human collective become a lot more aware of these changes within us and then we'll start seeing those changes at, at a larger scale as well we're very much being guided right now to connect with with nature again so you know going where there is water such as rivers streams the sea the ocean 
um, out where there's plenty of plant life, plenty of trees. And um, what came through in that channeling as well was that the earth is asking us to spend a lot more time outside away from technology, away from our devices, you know, spending some quiet time with Earth and, and reconnecting. And you very likely will be maybe receiving some, some insight or some messages or some guidance from Earth's energy as well when you are doing that. So we are also being guided to begin to interact um, in a very different way with the plants and the animals and with Earth itself as well. Like I said, we're being guided to go outside, so maybe do some meditating outside or sitting quietly or definitely spending more time outside. And we will then start to feel and see ourselves in a, in a, a, a different way. You know, we'll start to feel into... Um, almost like a, a different reality in a way. So we'll also begin to fully understand what is artificial. We'll be able to, you know, sense it and feel it and, and touch it and, and understand it in a much better way as well. And the, the earth energy is very much guiding us through this process. So humans have so much more power than they have ever been made to believe at this time. And the holographic matrix has just made humans believe that they can't do anything to help themselves or improve your own personal reality and the reality at large. But that's not the case. It's not true. You know, you've got so much power within you. It's just a case of, you know, reconnecting with that, realigning with that and, and bringing everything back online. So at the end of that last channeling, once all the questions had been asked, there was more information that came through and there was a particular message that I feel is very important to share today as well. And that is, well, if, if I speak a little bit before that, actually, you know, many people that may be... Um, call themselves light workers or you know really resonate with light workers will know that many people over many years have been holding space in certain places in the world certain countries and very much anchoring in this this new energy coming in towards us really holding light holding space while these changes have been taking place what i was told um during that channeling what what was coming forward in that channeling like we said, after all the messages, all the questions, sorry, had come through, was that three men right now are going through a, a very intense awakening right now. Three men in, in particular. Obviously, there's lots of men going through it in the world right now. But these men are the ages between 30 and 40. And there's a huge accelerated shift in consciousness for them. And they are here on this earth to be anchors of light in their, their place where they are right now. So they are basically acting like magnets and this is drawing in light for earth, for us, for, for all life forms on this earth right now. So these light codes that are coming in and you know all these um, helpers that are there trying to guide us and support us, there's lots of that going on around these people. The important thing is not to freak out, not to worry, not to panic. I do feel actually that these men will know what is going on. They will intuitively know what's going on and intuitively know what to do. So don't let anybody stop you from doing your mission, basically. So this is really helping all of us. Now, I was told the three places where these men are. There is one in Jerusalem, one in the Philippines, and one in California. And like I said, these, these are men between the ages of 30 and 40. So I'm going to leave that with you today. 
I was hoping to do these videos outside, but the weather hasn't been very nice these last few days. So I'm hoping the next video that I do um, will be outside. So I'm going to leave that with you today. I hope that has helped you in some way. I am sending you all my love. I'm wishing you all the very, very best. And I hope to see you again very, very soon. Goodbye for now.